Good day, everyone. It is unfortunate that the current government we have in Nigeria is driving us towards military rule and tyrannical government. I want to lend my voice to the voices of other people that have spoken about the illegality of the prescription of IPOB. I want to thank the Senate President for speaking up and saying the truth because there are laid down rules and procedures of prescribing an organization as a terrorist organization in a democracy. In the 2011 Terrorism Act, it is stated there, the whole processes you need to go, all the things you need to see in a group before you can even start thinking or conceiving the idea of calling the group a terrorist organization are all laid down there. Among some of the things a group should be doing or a group would do before you can say this group is a terrorist group are like seizing aircraft, intimidating people, killing people, soliciting money for terrorism and the rest of them. And when this thing happens, you don't just wake up in the morning and say, I am army chief. I have had meetings with the governors. This is now a terrorist organization. No, it doesn't happen like that. There are laid down procedures. If you don't know this, go to the Terrorism Act 2011, Chapter 10. Everything is laid down there. So, I want to tell you that what the Army and the Government of South East have done is unconstitutional, no, and void. We are in a democracy, we are not in a military rule. However, this does not call for any riot or killing of people or doing, taking laws into your hands. What people should do, especially the people of Southeast, is to be law-abiding until, as the Senate President said, the, the Senate investigates the issue and then take the appropriate action towards setting the record straight. Be law abiding and peaceful so that no more lives will be lost. I want also to tell you guys that I did warn about this. I warned you that there is a problem I am foreseeing, and this problem is problem of infiltration. When you are carrying out a peaceful protest, a peaceful agitation, there is always a case of people, your enemies, trying to put people, infiltrate you, so that these guys that are inside you will be causing troubles. And then it will, it will make the, the, the whole thing will now look as if to say, you are being violent. I warned about this and some people abused me. I warned about it. I stood my ground. I said, do not allow some miscreants to mess up your peaceful agitation. I am very concerned about what IPOB is doing because I'm an Igbo man and I'm a Biafra. If Biafra, if there is a referendum today and 51% of my people say we need Biafra, we, we want Biafra, we will all go. I will become a Biafra. If the uh, referendum is lost, we will remain in Nigeria. Now, I warned about this as a concerned Southeast person, but it was not heeded. Today, some people who I don't even know whether they are Biafrans, who I don't even know whether they are members of IPOL, might have gone to do certain things that are against the law. And now, everybody is saying, IPOL did this, IPOL did that. I want to give you an example. Have you thought about this? Everywhere they say an IPOP member or a group of IPOP people killed someone 
or a policeman. They never arrest anybody. They have never shown us any person from IPOL with a gun or with machete or anything saying this person killed this policeman. But everywhere IPOL people are killed, no policeman gets killed or army man gets injured. Is this not suspicious? I feel it is suspicious. But this is the type of government we have. And this is the type of people we are dealing with. That is why you must be very, very careful. Now, I want to say this. I have been saying it for like one year now. We have no governors in the Southeast. What we have are uh, a group of five puppets that don't know the difference between their left and right. They want to tell me that they cannot handle situations in the Southeast. These people have come out to tell the Southeasterners, we are not with you. You know, the IPO people, they are our people. They've done something wrong, for instance. Let's say they've done something wrong. And then the military wants to clamp down on them. Instead of these governors arresting the situation, instead of these governors showing leadership, what they are doing is they are cowering around the army chiefs. Their main job as governors is actually looking after the welfare of the people of Southeast. Whatever we say, whatever we agitate for, you have to listen to it. Now you have joined the army to prescribe IPOL. These are governors that when Fulani headsmen we are killing our people, they couldn't even say anything. They were going about talking nonsense. Fulani headsmen killed 40 men in Enugu state. They couldn't even ban nomadic cattle rearing. Fulani headsmen are fomenting trouble everywhere. And these governors have not banned the activities of these headmen. They are calling them for meeting, giving them cow and get with our money. Setting up useless commission after another. And now this is a pop that is peaceful. Just because you feel you have the power. Or because you know that IPOB is gaining some ground. You are afraid of losing elections. You are banning IPOB. I'm telling you, you are making your cases worse. Because you are showing us that you have not got our back. And we will not protect you people. Enough of this nonsense. We have to come to the end of bringing people that don't like us. To lead us. That is why we are still complaining about Second Niger Bridge, complaining about this one and that one. Because these guys, they don't have anything doing. They are just taking our money and doing everything possible to protect their positions. But it is in our hands. If you think these governors are doing the wrong thing, don't go and fight them. We wait for them during the elections. If you think you are tired of having people, having enemies as governors, let us come out during the next election and tell them that we have the power with our tongue to vote them out. Take them out. Get strong people. Get people who love the Southeast people, get people who are intelligent to lead us and they will lead us to greatness. If you want anything to improve, the governors have shown us now that they don't care about us. They don't care if all of us are branded terrorists, provided they are in good terms with the president. 
but we will tell them you have to go to Abuja and get the next vote. We have to bring five strong men to lead us. And unless we do that, what is happening now will continue to happen. I beg you, everybody must do everything he's doing, respecting the law of the land, and wait until the Senate and the people who are um, who have the responsibility to redress what has happened in Southeast come up with their own findings so that we can move forward from that. Thank you very much.